So I'm going to show you some of the changes between your old iPad and this new 10th generation one. Um, the first thing you may notice is that you do not have a home button on your screen the way you would have before. Uh, they've moved things like Touch ID now to this button on the left hand side. So if I tap to wake up my device, I can simply tap and hold on my Touch ID sensor. Uh, don't want to press, so I'm just going to rest my finger on it and it will unlock and take me right into my device. Now, you first thing you probably notice is, well, how am I going to get home? So if I am going through and maybe opening an app and I need to be able to get back home to that app, normally I could hit that button, but that button doesn't exist anymore. So I have a few different options here. The first is to simply use the trackpad. So down here at the bottom, I have a trackpad and this trackpad uses what they call gestures. Um, a lot of these gestures have, are independent with how many fingers you're using at one time. So for example, if I take three fingers and I swipe up on the trackpad, that will take me back home anywhere I'm at. So if I have maybe Gmail open or Google Drive open and I just swipe up with three fingers, that takes me back home, does the same thing it would have happened by hitting the home button. I could also swipe up on the bottom of the screen. So if I simply tap on the screen and swipe up from the bottom, that will also go back home as well. Now, if you have an app that's misbehaving that might need to be quit, um, normally you would have double tapped the home button. Um, now you will simply take three fingers, swipe up the way you would have done to go home. This time you're gonna go about halfway up the screen until you see these windows pop up and then let go. And then now all of your apps are going to show up and you can either use the trackpad and swipe up with two fingers to quit an app or simply touch the device and swipe up here as well. Bonus tip, you can even use two fingers at the same time and quit two apps simultaneously. And then again, when I'm finished, three fingers up, that takes me back into my home button. So let's say I have a lot of different apps open. I can take these same three fingers and swipe to the right or left, and this will cycle back and forth between any open app. Um, you actually don't need to quit apps unless they are misbehaving, so anytime I need to be able to go through and access uh, multiple apps at once, I can just use one app the way I am, and then if I need to swipe, I can swipe right or left to go to the next one and then swipe back with three fingers whenever I'm done to get right back to it. And then again, whenever I'm finished, three fingers swipe up, takes me back to my home screen. So if I'm in Safari and I have a website open, I can do two fingers uh, on the trackpad and swipe up to scroll, just like I would use on my Mac trackpad. Two fingers to swipe down, or two fingers and swipe right or left to go forward or back. That does the same thing as these two buttons would do up here at the top. So a lot of apps also support the ability to zoom. The way zoom works is I could simply take two fingers, put two fingers on my trackpad and pinch out to zoom in. So if I simply put my cursor and pinch to zoom out, I can zoom in on something and then go the opposite direction to zoom back out. I could also do the same thing on my screen. Also, if I needed to right click on something, I could simply move my cursor to where I need and do a two finger click just like I would do on my Mac and I get that little pop up window that pops up that gives me some additional options. So that should be enough to get you started on your new iPad.